معروف بھارتی مسلمان صحافی رانا ایوب نے اٹلی میں ہونے والے انٹرنیشنل جرنلزم فیسٹیول سے خطاب کرتے ہوئے عالمی برادری پر زور دیا ہے کہ وہ ہندوتوا دہشت گردی کا شکار بھارتی مسلمانوں کی زبو حالی کا نوٹس لے رانا ایوب کہتی ہیں کہ انہوں نے بہت کم عمری سے ہی بھارت میں ہندو انتہا پسندوں کے ہاتھوں مسلمانوں کو ظلم و ستم کا نشانہ بنتے دیکھا ہے اور یہی وجہ ہے کہ انہوں نے ہندوتوا دہشت گردوں کے مظالم کے خلاف آواز اٹھانے کا فیصلہ کیا Anti Muslim riots broke out in Bombay and me and my sister, I was nine and my sister was 15. A mob was getting to our house to gang, to pick us up for a gang rape and we were saved in the nick of time by a Sikh man. And then 10 years later, when I was 19, I was in the state called Gujarat, which was then presided over by who is now the Indian Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, who was then the Chief Minister when a thousand Muslims were butchered in a span of three days under his watch. And I went there as a relief work. I was only 19 and that's when I decided I had to do something because I had to stop feeling helpless. رانا ایوب کہتی ہیں کہ انہوں نے اپنی جان خطرے میں ڈال کر گجرات میں مسلمانوں کے قتل عام میں ملوث نریندر مودی امت شاہ اور ان کے دیگر ہواریوں کے خلاف ثبوت اکٹھے کیے مگر شدید سیاسی دباؤ کے باعث ان کے صحافتی ادارے نے اس تحقیقاتی رپورٹ کو شائع کرنے سے انکار کر دیا My investigation then sent the first serving Home Minister of State behind bars for extrajudicial murder of Muslims. That man now happens to be the second most important man in India. His name is Amit Shah. He is the Home Minister of the country. Um, so after I, I did the investigation, I went undercover. I went undercover as this Hindu American girl. with a fake name, a fake identity and a fake American accent with eight cameras on my body. And I, this was in 2010, I infiltrated the rank and file of Mr. Modi's government. For eight months, I did a sting operation on all the top guys in the Modi administration where they spoke the truth of the genocide of Muslims and the extrajudicial murder of Muslims. When I came back to my organization, they refused to publish this story citing political pressure. Prana Ayub has said that the Muslims have been killed in the summer of the Muslims and the Muslims have been killed in the war and the Hindus have been killed in the war and the Muslims have been killed in the war and the Muslims have been killed in the war. The Prime Minister of India himself issues dog whistles against the Muslim community. A Hindu priest in front of a massive crowd asked the crowd to rape and abduct Muslim women and cops were present and they didn't do a thing. This is everyday life for each one of us. رانا ایوب نے عالمی برادری کو خبردار کیا کہ وہ بھارت میں مسلمانوں کا قتل عام رکوانے کے لیے عملی اقدامات کرے The Muslims in this country are at the cusp of a genocide and none of the journalists can afford to look away and if you look away each one of us in the world are complicit in it I stand here not just as a journalist but also as a Muslim citizen of this country who feels persecuted I don't know what will happen once I go back uh, I'm, I'm, I have been called by the investigating agency back again As soon as I land, I don't know if I'm going to be arrested. Rana Ayub نے ہندوتوا دہشتگردی کا شکار بھارتی مسلمانوں کی زبو حالی کو عالمی برادری کے سامنے رکھا ہے اب دیکھنا یہ ہے کہ کیا عالمی برادری ہندوتوا دہشتگردی کے بڑھتے ہوئے طوفان کو روکنے کے لیے عملی اقدامات کرے گی